multiplying algebraic terms. So you'll remember in algebra that if we have a times b, we don't write the time sign, we just write a, b. If we have 3 times x, we don't write the time sign, we just write 3x. And when we multiply two identical letters, such as a times a, this would be not 2a, be very careful, a times a is a squared. So when we have to multiply algebraic terms, we remember these little rules, no time sign, and remember anything times itself is it squared. And we can actually rearrange and multiply however we want. So when I'm going to do this first one and show you why it works and then we'll write our rule. Because multiplying can be done in any order. So if I wrote this with all the time signs, I'd write, which I wouldn't normally do, I'll just do this one for how it works and then we'll do the shortcuts for this. But I'd write 7 times a, which is 7a, times 3 times b. Now I'm allowed to rearrange multiplication, so let's get all the numbers out the front. 7 times 3 times a times b. So 7 times 3 is 21, and I don't put the time signs in, and I've got a and b. 21 a b. Now you can actually always do it like this. Expand it out, rearrange so the numbers are at the front and the letters are at the back. Except any little powers. Have I done any powers? No, I'd better write one more question with powers. And multiply the numbers, multiply, get rid of the multiplication signs for the letters, and here's our answer. So you can always use this strategy. But you see what we could have done to go straight from question to answer is multiply the coefficients, 7 times 3 is 21, and then just combine our algebraic pronumerals by getting rid of the times sign. So we'll do the shortcut for this one and we'll write the rule. 3x times 2x, well 3 times 2 is 6, and x times x is x squared, so my answer is 6x squared. If we'd wanted to do this the long way around, which we don't have to do, so I'll do it in a different colour, we could have done this as 3 times x times 2 times x. Rearrange, so it's 3 times 2, the big numbers, the coefficients out the front, times x times x, and that's 6x squared. So this longer working can help some people if you want, but it's absolutely fine to multiply the coefficients and multiply where we have to with the pronumerals. Now this is a whole number times an algebraic term. 6 lots of 14y, but we still multiply our constant here by our coefficient. Now 6 times 14 might be a bit tricky. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 10 would be 60, so that will be 84. Why? See, there's only one pronumeral. So see, we can always keep track of where the pronumerals are. There was an a and a b here, an a and a b here. x times x here, x squared there. Now, we really don't need like terms because I'm allowed to multiply two different letters because I just put them together. So here, we multiply the pronumerals. 7 times 2 times 3. Now you can absolutely grab your calculator if you want. But that will be 42. x times x is x squared times y times z. So we've got 42x squared yz. And you can see we're keeping track of all those pronumerals and we multiplied those numbers. 
we might get very tricky and put negatives in. Remember, multiplying a negative by a positive will give me a negative answer. So just work out whether your answer will be positive or negative using that old rule that we learned before. And then do all the multiplications as normal. Multiply the pronumerals three times, sorry, multiply the coefficients three times four is 12. Now, we normally put our letters in alphabetical order if we can, so I'm going to start with my x, and then y times y is y squared. So, the rules for multiplying algebraic terms multiply the coefficients and then we multiply the pronumerals just by writing them with the correct notation. So we gather the pronumerals. If, as it was here, it was x times x, we'd write x squared. If it was a times b, we'd write ab. Now I'll just write a very quick little extra question with some powers in it. Now we still follow our rule, multiplying our coefficients. 3 times 2 is 6. Now x squared times x, that would mean x times x times x. So that will be x cubed times y. 